That's right. That's Why right. are they going to be disrespected by Congress? Bring this firefighter up here. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> This is, this is an extraordinary leader, Malin Mitchell. Go ahead, brother. All right, Malin. Yeah. Hello, Malin. How you doing today? Yeah. All right. All right. My name is Malin, Malin Mitchell. I'm the state president of Professional Firefighters of Wisconsin. Yeah. We love Wisconsin. When you come here, I want to bring a little Wisconsin cheer, though. We have a chant. I heard you saying it. Show me what democracy looks like. So I'm going to say, show me what democracy looks like. And you're going to scream back to me, this is what democracy looks like, okay? We want to make sure they hear it all the way back in Wisconsin. Now, I'm going to talk a little fast, but it's because you're listening slow. So we got to go. They only give me two minutes, so here we go. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Everybody's got to put their fists up in there. you got to scream it back to me, okay? One more time. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. All right, hell yeah. All right. All right. So right now, yeah. and the buildings behind us, they want to show us what hypocrisy looks like. They're doing a good job of it. Well, I asked the question. Jobs, not cuts. Why can't we have jobs? We see the tax loopholes for the wealthy. We see that. Yeah. We see Wall Street flourishing right now. Yeah. We see that. We see the top 1% in America. We see the top 1% of America right now flourishing right now. We hear a political pundit saying, the next candidate's got to talk about job creation. Can you, well, the political can you, pundits have jobs. you guys grab He's been slacking and it's making a hard They're not talking to about hold us. this up. Can you hold, help hold We hear the term shared sacrifice. Can somebody help hold the this? He, he draw, he I look at it as they, they share the, the wealth we them. sacrifice. Yeah. I ask again, where are the jobs? What did Abe Lincoln say? In the essay, Thank Abe Lincoln you. said, uh -huh. The role of government, what is the role of government? To do for those what they cannot do or cannot do so well for themselves. But we cannot make jobs for ourselves. They got us in this mess. I say it's their job to get us out of this mess. Right now we're seeing what we, we like to call the communism of millionaires. The pornography of power. They have to get us out. It's time for us to stand up, and that's what we're doing right now. It's time for us to stop believing the senseless rhetoric that is coming forth from their mouths. It's time for us to stop blaming teachers, nurses, firefighters, janitors, snowplow drivers. Let's talk about the real problem, the real issue of the problem. Deregulation of banking, Wall Street, but they don't want to talk about that, do they? No. It's time for us to stop calling rich and wealthy, which is no problem being rich and wealthy, but now we call them job creators. Back in the 18th century, we called them robber barons. Yeah. We got to let them know. It's time for us to start getting back to leaving the United States of America right now. Because right now it feels like we're in the United Corporations of America. Yeah. We, we can't take anymore. It's time for us, though. We got to look in the mirror. In Wisconsin, we have a governor, and we all know the story of Governor Walker. But you know, but, but let me tell you the message. Here's the message that I come to tell you. 39.6% of union members in our state voted for Governor Walker. It's time for us to look. And I'm going to finish up here. I'm, I'm sorry, brother, but I'm getting fired up because I like this. Story. But I'm going to get off here. But we have to keep fighting. We didn't start this fight, but it's a fight they want. It's a fight they're going to get. We got to bring everything, everything to the game. Like they said back in the old days, money, marbles, and chalk. Everything it takes to prevail. And we will win. Keep up the fight. Solidarity, brothers and sisters. We want one more chance. We have one that says, uh, what's disgusting? And then you guys say back, Boehner. <laughs> I say, what's disgusting? You say union busting. Oh. What's disgusting? Union busting. Gotta have the fist up there when you're disgusting. <laughs> what's disgusting? Union busting. What's disgusting? Union busting. What's disgusting? Union busting. I say people, you say power. People. Power. People. Power. I say union, you say power. Union. Power. I hear they have a, uh... I think they need a new governor.
governor in Wisconsin, don't they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He'd be good. Okay, good. <laughs> I hear they got a movement in Wisconsin somewhere. Give a round of applause. Yeah. Before I bring up our next hero, <laughs> you know, you know what's so amazing? <laughs> Thank you, you for me? helping. Even now? Yeah. This can't yeah. hear me? You want to come up here? <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing the best I can. So look, I what's so amazing about Brother Mitchell, Sorry. besides all the obvious amazingness, I saw y'all looking at him. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a wolf whistle. Y'all wrong? <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not even gonna quote the eye candy thing. That's just wrong. I'm, I'm gonna let that one go. But you just did. But, <laughs> but what's so amazing about Nothing a lot wrong with a little reckless eyeball. <laughs> His union was not under attack. That was one of the unions the governor picked out and said, "I'm not gonna attack you. You just be quiet. I'm gonna attack the other unions." And his union said, oh, no, no, you attack one of us, you attack all of us. And that's the kind of solidarity that we need. Give her another round of applause.